Hello, good evening, students. How is everyone? I hope the preparation for CAT is going on in full swing. So let's take up another session on Word Power Made Easy, an amazing book by Norman Lewis, which helps the learner to attain good vocabulary effortlessly. Yes, I said effortlessly. So for the ease and benefit of our students, we have come up with this series in which the chapters, the sessions of this book have been converted into this palatable form, which is more acceptable to the students. So today we will be taking up some more personality types and the topic is how to insult. Yes, how to talk about people who do not possess those positive qualities which we really aim for, which we really expect or which we really hope. So I'm sure you have gone through the previous videos in the same series. And if you have not yet gone through, please check out. You will find the entire playlist. Just log in, Supergrads Cat from Top Rankers, and you will get the entire playlist at your disposable. I'm sorry, at your disposal. Yes, this is what happens. Disposable, disposal. Find out the difference between the two dear students. Okay, let's delve into today's topic. Some words. If you have come across these, very good. First of all, always sit with a notebook and a pen because you need to work on these words. You may not remember each one of them. If you have, if you have seen them, if you have read them, well and good. If you haven't, let's check them out. Martinet. Martinet is a person who is a strict disciplinarian. Like an army soldier, like an army personnel, he is very strict to the extent sometimes to the point of being harsh. Bahut jo zyada discipline hote hai. They want the duty to be performed in a particular way at a particular time or wo tasse mas nahi hote hai. Such people can be called martinet. Have you come across any such people in your day to day life? Just be observant, dear students, and you will find such people moving around you. You must be interacting with them on a daily basis. So Martinet is one who is a strict disciplinarian. Then comes sycophant. Sycophant is the one, Hindi mein a very good word, hai, chaplus, the one who wants to please you in a servile manner. He is a flatterer. He wants to flatter you. By saying that you are the best, maybe he wants to copy you, he wants to imitate you, but he always wants to note down that you are the very best, you are the very ideal, you are the very epitome of perfection for him. Hakikat mein aisa ho na ho, that's not very important, that's not even clear. But yes, ye log aise hote hain, they go down to any extent to create that impression that they really adore you, that they really look up to you, psychophant. Next is dilettante. You must have come across people who take interest in things, but only in a superficial manner. They are not actually interested. They may try their hand, right? In painting, dancing, writing, sewing, composing. They may try their hand, as I said. They may take a trial, but only with superficial interest. So they do not have that sort of seriousness or that sort of intention. Just say, aap log intention se or seriousness se abhi apne exam ki tayari lag rahe hai. Not like that. So they are just dabbling with things. They are just trying their hand at various things. Please note superficial level. Not exactly passionate about things. Next is Virago. Have you come across such a woman who is always scolding the others, who talks in a very loud, harsh manner, hamesha sabko daanti rehti hai? Have you ever come across such a woman? The one who does not have the motherly qualities of affection, love, 
motherhood care no not like that but she is always ready to fight with you she is always ready to speak words in a very harsh obscene manner wo hoti hai virago so you can call her as a woman but the woman who is loud mouth who is almost indecent and she uses sometimes indecent language also cheap language also virago is that woman then is chauvinist you might have heard of this term male chauvinism okay so chauvinist means to some extent it has come from the meaning the root word which means love for the country sort of patriotism okay you can understand that for him no, nothing else matters his own country his own people his language maybe his house his family he is particular inclined to his own things a particular set of beliefs a particular set of things or people or ideas may be like a patriot but he does not he doesn't go ahead he doesn't look beyond what i mean to say is wo sirf apne hi cheezon ke bare mein bahut zyada vishwas se bhare rehte hain and they overlook the others coming next then we have monomaniac monomaniac only thinking about their own selves means some passion is there in their mind jiske piche wo hamesha lage rehte hain they always are observant they always are careful they always are intent upon that particular aspect wo usi cheez ke bare mein hi sochte hain because mania is a kind of excessive love या आप कह सकते हैं पागलपन मेनिया इज अ काइंड ऑफ मैडनेस एंड मोनोमेनिया मीन्स मैडनेस फॉर वन पर्टिकुलर थिंग वन पर्टिकुलर आइडिया टोटली ऑब्सेस्ड विद दैट आइडिया दैट इज कॉल्ड अ मोनोमेनिया देन कम्स आईकेनो क्लास्ट आईकेनो क्लास्ट icon this has come from the root word icon and i class is to break so iconoclast is to break something break what for example traditional patterns traditional beliefs or ideologies you might have seen the teenagers generally the adolescents generally they want to break down or they do not want to listen or conform to the authorities generally you will find i will not categorize but this trait is generally found among the adolescents because they want themselves to be you know free of the traditional mindset they want to think in a futuristic manner so that sort of a person is called an iconoclast traditional beliefs he doesn't believe in he wants to break away from next is atheist now atheist has come from the word theism or god god or religion so atheist a tells us the opposite a is the opposite of the belief in religion a person who has no belief in religion a person who has no belief in god or godliness is called an atheist in hindi this word is called this uh, this has a beautiful synonym or you can say the parallel word is gnostic does not believe in god or religion that person is an atheist we will be moving forward with these words and we will be making or forming new words from these same roots as we have been doing in the previous classes so this is just a forming a formation of the base idea the base words and then we will move ahead so stay tuned and you will have some exercises also at the end so stick to the till the end of the video lecher now lecher is a person who is excessively desire or desirous of having sexual relationships with others
as we'll go further i'll tell you how a man is called and what a woman is called what are the different names what are the different adjectives given to the tendency or to the people who show this who exhibit this sort of tendency so you can call them lewd or you can call them cheap but their intention is to have sexual relations with the others around next is hypochondriac have you come across such people jo hamesha apni health ke bare mein pareshan rehte hain those who always believe ki hamari health kharab hai that i have been suffering i will suffer i will have an ailment mujhe koi bimari hai you know they have some simple symptoms and they rush to the doctor and they have a whole host of medicines lying in front of them unke ghar mein bahut sari medicines rehti hain they keep on taking medicines endlessly ye soch kar ke ki unko kisi gambhir bimari ne ghir liya hai so such a person is called a hypochondriac hypochondriac means he is so anxious that he is suffering from some disease they may be perfectly all right they may be perfectly healthy but this thought keeps on worrying them so they keep on worrying that they are suffering from different kinds of diseases which are serious in nature so moving further now we have this word diaphanous diaphanous is almost like a transparent which you can see through maybe a piece of cloth for example and these women's clothing these days for example an evening gown which is made of georgette or chiffon which have a flimsy kind of a feeling a very thin you can see through that sort of fabric that sort of material is called diaphanous almost it is see through you can even call it transparent here a word of caution you cannot call glass you cannot put glass in this category aap kahenge ki kaanch ke aas paas bhi to aar paar bhi to dikhai deta hai but glass will not come under this category as i said some other material for example fabric cloth piece jo bahut jheena hai hai na just like the gossamer um, butterfly you might have seen a butterfly uska bhi bahut jheene pankh hote hain like that so that is diaphanous now virtuoso virtuoso means a person who is extremely specialized at a particular feat maybe at music yes especially at music a virtuoso is a person who is extremely talented bahut acha kar rahe hain kisi field mein creative arts related it can be painting it can be music it can be dance something like this of a creative order so he has exceptional talent virtuoso then comes patriotic patriotic you know it has come from patriotism or patri ka matlab hota hai father or that which we get from father so patriotic is love for the person who has love for his or her own country because it is a country it is a nation who is our which is our land which has which can be called our father according to our understanding for example according to indian mindset you call your country as motherland isn't it so similarly you have this patriotism from this root word patri or father next is patrimony now this comes from the same root word patrimony means some gift और सम इनहेरिटेंस जो हमें फादर से मिला है या ग्रैंडफादर से मिला है वी हैव इनहेरिटेड दैट लाइक एन एयरलूम जिस जो आप विरासत में पाते हैं दैट विच यू इनहेरिट फ्रॉम योर फोर फादर फ्रॉम योर फादर इट कैन बी मनी इट कैन बी एनी गिफ्ट इट कैन बी एनी अदर सिंबल ऑफ योर एंसेस्ट्रीज एंसेस्टर्स कि ये हमें हमारे पुरखों से मिला है दैट इज कॉल्ड पैट्री मनी स्पेशली इट इज रिलेटेड टू मनी 
then comes paternity paternity is related to father this is an adjective paternity now you might have heard about paternity leave in these days you call you also have heard about maternity leave so maternity related to mother paternity related to father paternity comes from the root word p a t e r pater means father so paternity for example paternity leave moving ahead patriarch patriarch is a father figure the male leader it can be of a family he can be of a tribe he can be of a nation he can be of a society matriarch similarly we ma patriarch similarly we have matriarch now matre the root word matre means mother so mother is a female matriarch is a female leader of a tribe or a society or even a country or maybe a family that is a matriarch and here this is a family or a tribe which is governed by a male so here you have a male leader preferably an old man male leader of a tribe or a family or a society so you have met patriarch and matriarch now i would like to take this word first alma mater alma means soul alma mater means the place from where one has done one schooling or one has studied in college the place where he has he or she has taken all his learning from that is called alma mater school or university it can be called again you have recognized the use of word mater m a t e r mater means mother then comes matrimony now matrimony is related to you might have seen matrimonial columns in newspapers matrimonial matrimony is related to marriage wedding that is matrimony rishta in hindi it is called then you have patricide now patri here the root word patri must have become clear to you by now and side is related to the killing in this world there are many killings taking place almost there is you know one name for every variety of killing or murder rather i should say so patricide is the murder of the father as i said we will be forming different words on the basis of these known words and now we get ahead and now i think you can recall this matricide side means to kill or the murder and matricide is the killing of the mother it is the act as well as the person who has done then comes suicide su means one self suicide means killing of one one's own self killing of the self murder of the self is called suicide fratricide fratricide related to brother killing of brother then comes sororicide yes you have guessed it right after brother comes sister sister killing of the sister is called sororicide then homicide homicide is in general any kind of killing is called homicide in general killing of any human being any human being who is killed or which is killed the term is homicide similarly we have regicide reg or rex means king so the murder of the king is called regicide
then we have auxiliary side auxiliary side auxiliary side here the root word this one relates to wife so the killing of the wife marital side marital side is the killing of the spouse spouse the one with whom we are married or the one who is our partner in marriage the killing of that spouse is called marital side especially the wife killing her husband that is called marital side then we have infanticide side the name is now almost clear you must have now understood by now infant means a small baby chote bacche ka murder baby or infant killing of a baby or infant now genocide relates to the killing of many people in a large number murder of numerous people together numerous people is called genocide it can be related to a particular group of people killing of numerous people then you have this has actually a spelling error kindly change it this is parricide parricide p a r r i c i d e parricide means killing of one's parents so we have done these words which have in them this suffix side which means murder now we come from monomaniac we derive some more words mono means one and mania means excessive love or craze or madness so similarly we have monomaniac monomaniac is the one who is suffering from this kind of disorder wherein he falls in excessive love with something monomaniac this is the adjective which is given now we give in do in detail now dipsomania the state or the state or the act, uh, action or you can say the process of being so dipso means wine so person who is excessively in love with wine or liquor wine or liquor then comes kleptomania a person who is excessively fond of stealing now mind you this stealing is not related with economic problems i mean to say it's not as if the person is in need of money so he steals it is not his livelihood or some such thing it is actually an un, a, a desire an urge jisko shant nahi kiya ja sakta he has this unquenchable desire to pick up the things from others and leave dusron ke ghar se dusron ke dukano se cheeze utha le jata hai so he has that urge of stealing small objects then comes megalomania now megalomania mega mega means big huge megalomania a person has an obsession of wealth of power of anything of grandeur such obsession of grandeur or wealth or maybe power he has this wrong understanding or a wrong feeling that he has power he has authority he has wealth this feeling is almost morbid in nature then is pyromania pyro pyro means fire so pyromania means excessive love of fire means these people ye kya karte hain ki aag laga dete hain they can play with fire they they want you know they they derive pleasure from setting things to fire they derive that sort of pleasure now related words hain isme kuch aur let's have a look now we have nymphomania nymphomania is we had talked about sexual desire so a woman who has excessive sexual desire is called a is called a nymphomania Similarly, satyromania refers to a male, male with excessive sexual desire. So we have nymphomania, we have satyromania. Then is we are coming to now phobias. Phobia means excessive fear, morbid kind of fear. So we have claustrophobia. Claustrophobia means the person who has who has the fear of 
क्लोज स्पेसेस बंद कमरों में जिनको घुटन होती है जिनको डर लगता है दे ऑलमोस्ट फील दैट दे विल बी स्ट्रेंगुलेटेड तो उस फियर को कहते हैं क्लोस्ट्रोफोबिया नेक्स्ट इज अगोराफोबिया अगोराफोबिया इज रिलेटेड टू ओपन स्पेसेस बिल्कुल इसका ऑपोजिट है क्लोस्ट्रोफोबिया का ऑपोजिट है अगोराफोबिया फियर ऑफ ओपन स्पेसेस ग्राउंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल प्ले ग्राउंड बिग ग्राउंड उसका उनको बहुत डर रहता है मैदान का डर रहता है उनको they cannot visibly stand there they cannot tolerate that then comes acrophobia acrophobia is related to the excessive fear of heights unchai se jene dar lagta hai coming uh, coming uh, next we have now these words libidinous is lewd just now we had done this word lecherous so we have libidinous then we have lascivious this also is a person who is who has excessive sexual desire similarly we have lubricious similar feeling similar meaning then licentious licentious is a person who is very flexible in making relationships so he doesn't he is unprincipled you can say he or she unprincipled okay so this means to have excessive relationships with different people then lewd as i said again cheap order of a cheap variety cheap order or cheap variety then we have lustful also means the same and prurient means the same it means it the word comes from scratching scratching again that urge which is not un, which is not controllable so these all words you find in the family of lechers now i want you to do these exercises you can pause the video and have a look we have here five words wherein you find the options disciplinarian boot licker scoffer at tradition disbeliever in god accomplished musician you must find out the meanings of these words from the given options next is sheer or flimsy then abusive woman then murder of one's wife old man in a ruling position morbid compulsion to steal delusions of grandeur so my suggestion is you attempt these exercises and do drop down your comments in case of any clarity do practice these words find out the words which are related to these i hope you enjoyed the session so stay tuned and always be with us and uh, just inform us of the areas where you really want some more help so this is rita gurmani signing off bye bye thank you keep learning keep growing keep moving ahead